G'day, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at this Kleins Tool IR07. So this is a probe thermometer with this probe out here and it's also got an infrared thermometer out front. So basically to turn it on, yeah, you, you just sort of pull that as you saw me do. You pull that forward and then you've got this probe that can extend out quite far and you can put that into whatever you want and it'll show you that temperature on the screen. It is quite responsive, it does respond pretty quickly to that. And then if you want the actual infrared function, you can close that back up, which will also turn it back off. But you just hold this scan button here, or you press it so it initializes. Actually, I'll do it this way. And then it's got that little red laser pointer there to see where you're taking the temperature. And obviously it displays the temperature on the screen there pretty nicely. It does have a min and max function as well. So if you press that, it'll show you that there, maximum down the bottom minimum and then it's got the T1 minus T2 so I think you can take two temperatures sorry I just got the laser on for some reason still should have read the instructions I reckon you can probably turn the laser on just hold in it and, and it stays on automatically there but really all I've just used it to just take a quick measurement like that let it go and that's it and it shows you the, the screen there so it's really nice and convenient nice and quick and that's it but yeah, I know it does have a, a, you take one temperature and then you take another one and it minus the two together. So it gives you the, the difference there. So the actual unit itself is quite nice and small. It fits into the hand really well, easy to hold. And it's got this really nice grippy, well, it's, it's actually a plastic. It's not a grippy surface, but these little indents here to, to grip to, to quite well. So that's nice. And it just fits in the hand really nicely. On the front, again, it's got the three buttons there. And then it just has a LCD screen, really nice backlit. You can see that quite well. On the front, it does have these little bumpers sort of to protect any hits or anything into that laser there. So this one here is just going to be the red laser, and then in there is going to be the actual infrared laser that measures the actual temperature. On the back, just a bunch of instructions there. You can read that in your own time. And the whole case, again, is just that really nice sturdy plastic, and it feels really good. So it's got a little compartment just back here for the battery. I think, I don't know if this actually has a water resistant or waterproof rating. I can't see anything on it, but I would imagine it's at least sort of water repellent. So there we go, that battery compartment comes off and we've got this really nice gasket, rubbery seal all the way around that compartment. And on the bottom here as well, we've got this little channel that comes out. So that channel just sandwich in onto that plastic and prevent sort of any moisture or water coming into those batteries there. It is just powered by two AAA batteries, but I imagine they'd last quite long because a little laser wouldn't take much and the screen and the LED wouldn't take much power anyway. So I can't see any visible screws there, so I'm not sure how that actually comes together. There might be a little screw hidden underneath here. But if not, maybe it just clips. No, okay. Nothing there. Maybe it does just clip together then. I can't feel any screws there either. I was expecting some screws to be under here. But maybe it doesn't. We might just have to pry it open. Which hopefully comes apart quite nice because I don't want to damage any sort of water resistant rating that it might have. Yeah, there's, there's the other thing there is actually as well that's good to notice is it has that little brass insert there, so that's just a threaded insert for this screw here from the battery compartment to actually screw into. So that's really nice to see because that screw's going to wear out that brass, but a lot slower than it would wear out just plastic if it was straight into plastic because brass is obviously a lot tougher material than plastic. And same as this probe actually has a really nice sort of resistance to it as well as it opens. But I just opened that up to see if, if there's any any visible bits of how it actually works in there, but it isn't. It just has this whole way, yeah, this whole channel all the way across, so it it must just click together. There's no, there wouldn't be anything under the screen. What I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm just feeling for any divots, which might suggest there's any screws underneath, but I can't really feel anything, so I don't think there's anything there. All right, well, I'll just try prying it apart again.
right guys, you know what? I'm not gonna keep trying because I am scuffing the end there quite a bit. And especially this side here, I made quite a mess there. So I can probably trim this up a little bit. But I'm gonna guess that this is, this is two clamshells that are then just clipped together, but most likely glued as well. Especially if this does have any sort of IP rating, that would most likely be glue. Because there is this slit all the way across, and same as here, especially here, you can see there's sort of two different ones there as well. So that upper channel and that lower channel there. But it just really does want to come apart. I can get it a little bit. You could sort of see it wanting to split, but but it really, really something preventing it from, from doing that. So that's what I reckon maybe it is glued together. So I want to use this tool. I don't want to wreck it. It's not nice, obviously, brand new tool. I don't like wrecking things. So it is just cosmetic damage on the outside and cosmetic wear. Not a big deal. It'll still work completely fine. But I'm not, I'm not going to break this. So if anyone has taken one apart or knows how to take it apart, do leave it down in the comments because I am interested exactly sort of what's inside and how it does work. But quite honestly, I would much rather just actually use this and you can imagine what's inside. Or maybe in a couple of years, if it breaks or anything like that, I'll, I'll rip it apart. But for now, treat this as just a bit of an overview and I guess a failed attempt at getting into it without destructing the whole thing. But for anyone that is considering them or wanting it, it's obviously a very tough tool. If you see it just doesn't want to crack open. Very good, very good tool, very nice, good to hold, easy, lightweight. So I would definitely recommend it. All right, well, thanks for watching. I guess this is a slightly different video. Again, if you've got an idea of how to get into it, leave a comment down there in the comments. And um, we'll see how we go. Awesome. Have a good one.